Okay, let's begin by setting up our interface. I'm going to go to display and then I'll go down to UI elements and I'm going to turn off the time slider and I'm going to also turn off the range slider. I'm just going to give myself a little more screen space here. Up here at the top, I want to make sure that I have polygons selected on this module and then I'm going to make sure that I have my shelf tabs turned on in case you need to switch. Now, if you're already on the Polygons tab, you can save a little bit of space by turning off your shelf tabs. Okay. Over here, I have some added tools. Uh, for example, the Edge Loop tool right here. So if you need to add tools to your shelf, you can go up to uh, Mesh Tools, uh, and then hold down Control and Shift, and then go down to the tool that you want to add, and then you let go on the mouse, and then you let go of Control and Shift and it pops up over here. All right, so I'm going to take this tool, and I'm going to use the middle mouse button and drag it, and uh, let's see, we need to, I want to put that in the garbage. So let me bring my shelf tabs back up. Middle mouse click, drag it onto that garbage can right there. All right, so now let's start by creating our project folder. I'm going to go to File and then Project Window, and right here, uh, I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to make sure over here that I'm in my Documents folder and then Maya Projects. So I'll select that. And then right here, I'm going to call this Mr. Mustache. That's the name of the character. I'm going to leave all my defaults, all these folders, just as they are. And then I'll hit Accept. All right, now I'm going to minimize Maya for a moment. And I'm going to go to my File Browser. And I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. There are two files that you're going to need to uh, use for reference images. So I'm going to select these two files. Um, and I'm going to right click, go to Copy. And then I'll go to my Documents folder, My Projects, Mr. Mustache. And then I'll go to Source Images. And then I'll paste these files right here. OK, uh, I'll close this. And we'll go back to Maya. And let's begin by setting up those reference images. I'm going to go to View, Image Plane, and go to Import Image. So right here, we're going to choose the front view. I'll hit Open. Do the same thing over here in the side panel. I'll go to View, Image Plane, and then I'll go to Import Image. Take the side view here. All right, now I'm going to select both of these image planes. Hit W from a Move tool. I'm going to move this up. Tap the space bar, and I want to just place the feet right on the grid right here. So feet are touching this dark black line right here. Now I'm going to go to my perspective panel, and I'm going to take one of these and move it over. I'll take the other one and move it back. I just want to get them. They don't have to be exact, but you just want to get them out of the way because we're going to be modeling the character right here. All right. These image planes are a little small, so I'm going to select everything here. Hit Command-G or Control-G on a PC. And then I'll hit R for my scale tool, and I can scale this up as desired. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rename this group to Ref Group. Okay. Uh, over here in uh, the layer editor, I'm going to take that group. It's selected right now. I'm going to click on this button. It's going to take the objects and place them on a new layer. So I'll double click here and we'll call this ref layer. I'll click on this empty box until the letter R shows up, and that means it's now on a reference and I can no longer select it. I can turn the visibility on and off right here. Okay. All right, let's jump in and start the modeling process. I'm going to go to the polygon sphere right here. Click on that once, and it says drag on the grid. Now, I want to just change my preferences real quick. I'm going to go to uh, polygon primitives and then turn off my interactive creation. And then I'll just click on this again, and now it just drops it on the grid. So I'll hit W, move this up. And uh, over here in the inputs, I'm going to change uh, the subdivision axis is going to be 12, and the subdivision height is going to be 8. Press return here. And I'm going to go to the front panel now. 
press R for my scale tool. I'll scale up. Okay. Now, um, I want to put, I want to extrude this area down here for a leg, but it's kind of split between these two faces. So I'm going to rotate this whole sphere by 15 degrees. So I'll go to rotate Y, type in 1, 5, press enter or return. And now I can go to my side panel and I can specifically select the uh, face on the side right here. Okay, so I'm going to hit the extrude button on the shelf. I'll press W and I'm going to move this down. Press R and I'm going to scale this so that the face is flat right here. All right, I'm going to press W, move this up a little bit, and I'll press F to frame it. I'm going to right click, go to edge, select this edge, press R, and I'm going to scale this edge so that it's a little bit shorter. Now I'm going to right click, go to face, and I'm going to select this face and scale it in. I want basically a square on this right here. All right. I'm going to go to my uh, front panel here, hit W and just move this over a tiny bit. Go to my side panel, check and make sure that it's lined up. It is. So with that face selected, I'll hit the extrude tool and I'll move this down to the grid line. Okay. So I've extruded that down. And the next thing I'll do is insert an edge loop. So I'll take my edge loop tool, insert an edge loop right here. And let's see, I'll insert an edge loop here, and then we'll do two on either side of that center edge loop. Do an edge loop uh, right up here. Okay. I'm going to hit Q to switch to my selection tool. I'm going to switch over to my perspective panel, select this face right here, and I'm going to extrude that face out. Okay. And I'm just going to go out to the edge of the foot right here. I'm going to go up to shading and then go down to x-ray. And now I'm going to add in an edge loop going very close to the bottom of the foot. I want the bottom of the foot to have a kind of a hard edge to it. And then I'm going to add in a couple of edge loops uh, following these lines here. And then maybe one extra here and one here. All right, so now I'm going to hit Q, right click, go to vertex, start to move these vertices down to match up with my reference image. Push this down, push this down. OK. All right, so let's take uh, these faces here. Uh, I'm going to uh, select one face, double hold down shift, double click on the face next to it. I'll do the same thing here. And actually, let's do it here too. So basically what you're doing is you're selecting one face, hold down shift, double click on the face next to it, selects the whole ring, do the same thing here. Oops, let's try that again. Okay. I'm going to press R and we'll scale all this stuff out. Okay. Now let's just do this uh, ring of faces in the middle here. So I'll select one, hold down shift, double click on the face next to it, press R and we'll scale out some more here. Okay. Uh, let's take this face here and the uh, faces, these short faces around here, and let's scale it out a little bit. Just to widen that a little tiny bit. Take these two faces here, and I'm going to extrude them out. And I'll take this edge up here and move down. And then I think I'll take this face right here, 
and just scale it in a tiny bit. I'm going to add in one more edge loop right here. So the idea is to have more edge loops where you're going to have joints in the in the character so that when it bends the knee or the ankle or the foot it bends well. So I'm going to add in two more edge loops here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit Q, right click, go to object mode, and I'm just going to hit 3 on the keyboard to kind of take a look at what this is going to look like smoothed. And I'm pretty satisfied. Alright, so I'll hit 1. And uh, let's see, I want to actually put a little bend in the knee here. So let me push this stuff forward. Doesn't have to be a large bend, just a slight bend in the knee there. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to right click, go to object mode, and I'm going to go up to modify freeze transformations. It's going to freeze everything here. And then I'm going to hit Control D, or on a Mac, you would hit Command D to duplicate. And then I'll go to Scale X, type in negative 1. Now I have two models here. I'm going to freeze the transformations on this copy, and then I'm going to hit W and move the copy out. And what we're going to do is take the leg and get rid of everything else. So I'm going to hold down Shift and then press the period key to increase my selection here. I want to go to just before it, it reaches the, the sphere. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Invert, selection. I'll press delete to delete it. Now I just have the piece that I want. Uh, before I do anything I'm going to delete the face on this side. Okay, so that's this face right here. I'll right click, go to object mode. I'll take this. Now I, all I have to do to put this back in position is change my translate Z back to zero. Okay. And let's zoom in here and uh, we just need to append these two objects. So I'm going to select the first object, hold down shift, select the second object, and I'm going to click on this button right here to combine the two objects. Now I'm going to take my append tool and if you don't have this on your shelf it's going to be under mesh tools, append to polygon tool. I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to connect the two objects. Now I've finished my pen, I'm going to press G and I'll do this again. Just going around and appending all the way across here. Just press G after you're finished and you can do another append. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'll hit 3 on the keyboard to see what this looks like in shaded mode. Actually, let me hit 1 and go to object mode here and then press 3. There we go. So there we have our basic, um, basic, basic character. And then I just want to add a little bit of flair. Uh, and we've already titled this character Mr. Mustache. So we're going to have to give him a pretty awesome mustache right here on the front. So I'm going to press 1. Take this model right here, we'll call him Mr. Mustache. And then I'm going to put him on a new layer. I'll double click here on layer 1 and we're going to call this Geo for geometry, Geo layer. And then I'll turn off the visibility. And let's start working on our on our mustache, okay? So I'm going to create a cube right here. And I'm going to go to Polycube 1 and change the subdivisions width to 2. Take this, move it up, and I want to place it right here, kind of on the lower side, lower half of the sphere. 
And I'm going to start to scale this in. And uh, I'm going to scale it in this way, the beginnings of the mustache. I'm going to move it out a little bit. Turn the geometry layer back on. Yeah, I want to be able to see this. OK, so now I'm going to go to, let me turn off my grid here. I'll take this, move it over, and then I'm going to rotate it. So hit E for your rotate tool. I want to just kind of match up with uh, the, uh, the geometry here, because we're going to push it in against that. All right, so I'll just back it off a little bit here because we're not done creating this mustache. So now I'm going to turn off the uh, visibility on the geo layer. And uh, let's create a curve to help us model this mustache. So I'm going to go up to Create CV Curve Tool, and then I'm going to go to the Options. And uh, you want to make sure it's set to 3 cubic. Sometimes it's set to 1 linear. Make sure it's set to 3 cubic. Then you can close this tool. And then I'm going to, you can see your cursor has changed. I'm just going to click here. Um, let's see. I'm going to click right on the grid. So I'm going to hold down the X key to snap to the grid here. Let me just go up here and start like this. OK, so I'll press return to finish the CV curve. And then um, I'll just move it down. Uh, and I can't see my transform. But what it is, is it's down here at the at the origin of the scene. So I'll go to, um, let's actually just hit, um, hold down the D key, D as in dog, and the X key, and I'll snap it up to here. So now I can let go of the D key and the X key. I'll move this down. All right, so I'm going to move this so that it's now positioned. Let me turn off my uh, reference layer for a moment. And uh, it's hard to see this stuff, but uh, I'll just rotate this. I want it to line up with the mustache. Okay. All right, so let me turn my reference layer back on. I want to make sure I have the right size here. And I think what I need to do is scale this out a little bit. And uh, now I'm going to select this, go to Control Vertex, and I'm going to kind of move these vertices and kind of adjust my mustache. OK, so now um, I'm going to turn my geometry layer back on. And I want to take the two outer control vertices here. And I want to push them back to give it the mustache a curve. OK. And then I think maybe we'll take these two control vertices here, push those back as well. I just want to kind of get a sense. OK. So maybe take. You just don't want it to be too straight and flat. So we want to make sure that there's some uh, dynamic curves going on here. Let me take this vertex, push that back a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't have to. You don't have to get the exact same curve that I have here. Um, that's probably pretty good. So I'll right click, go to uh, object mode. Okay. And now comes the fun part. We're going to take the face here, hit Q, hold down Shift, click right on the curve, and then I'll hit the Extrude button. Now it's going to extrude right to the end of that curve. And now we have to make some adjustments over here in the channel box. So I'm going to change my divisions to uh, 12. And then I'll change my taper to 0.2. And let's see. Might take my divisions down a little bit. I might have too many here. Let me see. Take it down to 10. Yeah, I'm going to use 10 instead of 12. One, two, this is kind of, kind of getting bunched up over here. I might even try 8. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with 8. And then your taper here, you can actually take this to 0.1 if you want to have like a more point on the mustache. It's kind of up to you 
how you want to uh, shape that object. Okay, so I'm going to right click and go to object mode. And now um, this extrusion is connected to that curve. So um, I'm done with the curve. I think uh, if I were to move this mustache close to the body here, it's pretty much matching up with the geometry the way I want it to. So then what I'll do is um, I'll to separate it from this curve right here, I'm going to go to select the object and I'll go up to edit, delete by type, and then go to history. Now it's separate from the curve and I'll hit delete on the curve and then I'm going to go to face mode. I'm going to delete faces on one side here. Okay, so I have an open open area on the mustache right here. I'm going to right click, go to object mode. Okay, so now my pivot point is right on the edge here. So you can see it's right at the edge of the mustache and this means I can mirror it, okay? So I'm going to go to uh, mesh mirror geometry and then I'll go to the options right here and right now mirror direction is positive X and what we want to do is I can see the direction right here X is going this way across the screen so we're going to switch it to negative X we'll merge with the original and we're going to merge the vertices so I'll hit apply and there we have the mustache on the other side okay so now this is all one object okay so I can press 3 to see what it looks like smoothed out. Okay. All right, I'll press uh, 1. And uh, this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to now move this away from the uh, character here. And uh, I'm going to try and connect these two objects now. So I'll right click, go to Edge. I'll double click on this edge right here and I'm going to go to um, edit mesh delete edge slash vertex okay it's going to delete the edge and the vertices that are left behind all right so now I go to object mode I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going to combine them all right now I'll select this face actually let's see I need to go back to my channel box here I'll select this face, I'll hit extrude, and I'm just going to extrude this face in a little bit. And now I will delete the interface, and I'll delete the face here. And I'll use my append tool to connect the two objects here. Press G to finish the append. So I know this looks a little bit ridiculous, but it's much easier to append when these objects are far away from each other. Um, we can then push it back in after it's been appended. Okay. All right. So I'll hit Q. I go to face mode. I'll select the whole mustache. And then I'll hold down control and unselect this section right here. And now what I can do is I hit W and I can push this in and try and line it up here. Okay, so I'm going to push this in as much as possible. And I think I need to raise this up and pull it out a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to take this opportunity right now to add a new shader onto this uh, selection. Okay, so I need to go to my shelf tabs here and go to rendering. I'll add a new Lambert right here. And over here, I just need to scroll all the way over. Lambert 2. And I'll choose my color. It's going to be a dark gray on the mustache here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go to edit invert selection. And then I'll add another Lambert. And uh, this one I'll choose a different color. This can be any color that you like. I'll do something like this. 
Okay. So I can get rid of my shelf tabs now. I no longer need that. Oh, I need to go back to my polygons though. Okay. All right. So here we have our character, and um, what I'm going to do now is rename this to Mr. Mustache once again. Let's go into our um, outliner here. So let's select the uh, object here, and I'm going to go to um, edit, delete by type, and then go to history. It's going to get rid of all those uh, extra uh, group nodes that we do, do not need anymore. And um, we're ready to go, I think. So I'll take this and let's uh, smooth it out. Uh, actually, what you want to do probably, in case you want to make edits to this, is you want to save one version unsmoothed. And then we'll save a smooth version. Okay. So let's see. I'll go to File, Save Scene As, and we'll call this Mr. Mustache Unsmoothed. We'll save it. And then I'm going to smooth the uh, character here. And then we'll uh, save this one. File, save scene as. And we'll call this Mr. Mustache Smoothed. All right, so if you have saved this character, you are all done with the tutorial.